competing and the sanctuary, so-called sanctuaries in South Africa, have they also yeah. started going into the other African countries as well? Or is it mainly just majority? So, no. So again, that's, that is a problem. Um, because um, there are one or two facilities in Zimbabwe, there are one or two in Namibia, there's one that's there's opened one. in Tanzania, which is very con disconcerting. And and recently there we saw a clip of in Uganda where the actual wildlife department in Uganda decided that they're going to breed lions um, and then to, to put them into their national parks. They've got significant poaching problems in most of their national parks on 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 um, animals like lions and all your plains game species. But instead of spending time and energy trying to solve that problem, they just said, oh, no, we'll just breed them and then release them. And and every, as they kill them, we'll just release more. So, wow. so no, we, it is a concern that, um, you know, like a bit like a balloon, you squeeze here and then it bulges somewhere else. So. And, and, you know, this is the unfortunate part of it is that, A, there are a number of commercial revenue streams. So there is a fair amount of money that can be made out of abusing lions and predators. Uh, secondly, there are um, a lot of hunters out there who think that killing a lion that's been bred in captivity is, is somehow adding to, you know, who they are. Um, so as long as there's a, a sick market for these sick people, I guess that that remains open. And then thirdly, there's just a lot of naive people who 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 buy the line, buy the story that oh, these cubs have been rescued and that they're going to be put back into the wild and that you know you're coming to visit them and and cuddle them and have your selfie taken. You're contributing to conservation. It's a complete and utter scam. I mean, it's a it's a it's a big scam, Sylvia, and so but that's what we face, you know. That's why the educational part of what we do is so important.